targeted audience equals engagement equals reach equals growth. What's going on guys and welcome back here on my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sasha and in today's video, we'll be talking about how the Instagram algorithm actually works. So if that sounds interesting, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so what is Instagram trying to do? What is their main goal? So that is important to know right off the bat to understand how the algorithm is programmed because at the end of the day, they are programming the algorithm in a way that it does exactly that so that they're reaching their goal. And so the main goal of Instagram is to keep you and all of the users out there as long on the platform as possible. So the more time you spend on it, the more money Instagram makes because the more time you spend, the more ads you will be shown. And so therefore with those ads, Instagram makes money. That's the first important piece of information right here. But now moving on from there, the next thing that I want to bring up is the main places that your content can be discovered on Instagram. And these are the first one is the home page, the home feed. The second one is uh, hashtags. So in the hashtags, your uh, content can be pushed in the top space, for example. And then third, last but not least, it's the explore page. And all of those three places have one thing in common, and that is how your content on there is going to be pushed. And that is by the amount of engagement, the relevancy and the freshness. Let me explain real quick. The engagement of your content simply means how many likes, comments, shares and saves it receives. And the more, the better. Because at the end of the day, those are signals to the algorithm whether or not your content is actually valuable. And so the more signals the algorithm receives, the more likely it's going to push it. Now the relevancy of your content simply means how likely is it for somebody to interact with your posting. So when Instagram takes your posting and pushes it in front of more people that have not already seen your content, that are not familiar with your content and your profile, then how likely is it that they're going to interact with it? The whole day Instagram is tracking what you're doing. So they're tracking what kind of postings are you liking? What kind of interests do you have? They're very smart about understanding that because once again, the algorithm is programmed in a way to understand exactly that and track exactly that kind of data. And so if somebody likes fitness content, for example, and you're posting about something else, it is not very likely for your content to be recommended to that specific person just because the relevancy is not given. And now last but not least, the freshness of your content is actually rather simple. So the new your content the better. So our new content is going to be pushed more likely versus old content. So let's say for example, we have two content pieces right here. They're both the same. They're super relevant. They're receiving lots of engagement. So strong signals to the algorithm, but the one content piece has been posted one day ago and the other one one week ago. Then it's more likely for that content piece that is just one day old to be recommended and pushed by the algorithm rather than that other one week old posting. But my friends, with that being covered now, let's tackle the most important question right here. And that is how can you use that information in order to get your content recommended by the algorithm, get more reach, grow more followers. And the main thing that you want to do right here in order to achieve exactly that is you want to come up with a targeted content strategy. If you're posting content all over the place on different kinds of topics, it's going to be extremely difficult for the algorithm to figure out which kind of audience your content might be interesting for. So therefore, this brings us back to the part about the relevancy. If you have a targeted content strategy, on the other hand, you also have a target audience. Your content speaks to a small group of people, a target audience, and now the algorithm can figure that out and serve your content directly to those people. So now you're having relevant content. But not only this, if you're building a target audience, which you can achieve through a target content strategy, then it's more likely for the people that follow you to engage with your content, like comment, share, save, which then again is a good signal to the algorithm that your content is relevant. And so therefore it's even more increasing the chances of it being pushed. So to simplify it right here, if you have a targeted content strategy, that means you'll also have a target audience, which equals more engagement, which equals more reach, which equals more growth. So there you have it. This is exactly how the algorithm actually works in 2021 and how you can use it to your advantage in order to get more reach and grow more followers. Now, with that being said, you guys, that's actually already it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it valuable. As always, if you did so, smash the subscribe button, join the family, and I'm looking forward to see you in my next video.